Do you struggle with finding motivation to start creating content and feel like every time you do get a glimpse of motivation, it fades out really quickly? Yo, Mr. Toimov, my name is Rayo, and hopefully by now you do believe that you can make it as a content creator because we talked about it in one of my recent videos. So if you haven't seen it yet, then make sure to check it out. But if you have seen it, then you might feel that you're ready to make content, but you just kind of lack the motivation to really start doing it. So in this video, I'm gonna solve this issue for you by sharing a story of mine, how I struggled to make this exact same video. And by sharing this, I'm showing you why most content creators lack motivation and how you can fix it forever. So I was kind of struggling to come up with ideas for this video because, well, this is not a self-improvement channel where we talk about motivation all day, like waking up at 3 a.m., taking cold showers every day, nothing like this. And I wasn't quite sure how to connect motivation and content creation in, in a way that really helps you to get started or, or just continue doing more and more content without feeling like it's not worth it or giving up. And what was really interesting is that because I was struggling, it, it made me feel not motivated to make this video. It happened because I didn't have a perfect idea of what I wanted this video to look like. I felt that I shouldn't make this video because it wasn't gonna be good enough. I felt like I needed to take at least one or even two entire days just to do more research so I would be ready to make this video. But then there was this moment where I realized that's it. That's what most content creators are struggling with. That's why our little spark of motivation fades so quickly. Because we have this false idea of perfectionism and when we realize that we can't execute our ideas in a way that's 100% perfect in our minds, then for us it's not, it's not worth doing it at all. But obviously you can see that how that's just not true. You've probably heard a lot of self-help gurus talk about how one is always greater than zero. And in terms of content creation, it's just so accurate. Because in content creation, consistency is the most important thing there ever is. One is always better than zero. Uploading an okay piece of content is always better than not uploading anything at all because in our minds we can't make it perfect or we don't have the skills yet or the knowledge to make it look exactly like we want it to look like. And by the way, what's also better than zero is hitting that like button for the YouTube algorithm because there are a lot more content creators out there just like you who struggle with motivation and need to see this video. Anyways, it's important to understand that this does not mean that you shouldn't put in any effort into your videos. It's not a green light to create low quality content. You should obviously still put maximum effort you can into creating content, but realize that it's okay if it's not 100% all the time. It's okay if it's just 90%, 80%, maybe even 50% when you're not having a really good day and you don't feel it. Just as long as you're being consistent about it and open about it, it's totally fine. Just like I did with my video here. I told you right at the start that I was struggling with make making this video because the idea in my head wasn't quite perfect, but I still did it anyway. I wrote the script, Currently, I'm recording the video. Later on, I'm gonna edit this video. Then I'm gonna upload and make the thumbnails, share it. You know, the work must go on. And you can do exactly the same thing. You can even tell your audience that, hey guys, uh, I'm not really feeling it today, but I'm still trying my best to give you some value. And I want you guys to to see that I'm doing, I'm taking this seriously. I'm, I want to be consistent and this channel is not something I'm gonna give up on. And you can tell your audience that you hope that they're still gonna enjoy your video despite the fact that you're not feeling 100%. Maybe maybe even ask them about feedback. How, how are they feeling about this? And by doing this, your audience will most likely respect you even more because of your openness and honesty. By the way, this was a call to action to you as well. So make sure you leave a comment down below telling me what do you think about this video so far and do you find this helpful? And as always, I do read every comment. Anyways, it's only been a couple of weeks since I started this YouTube channel and 
when I look back at my first video on this channel, I'm already cringing because I'm, I, I can think of so many ways I could make it better. But it's fine because it was the best I could have done at that point. And that's okay, it doesn't matter because I know that in a year from now, I'm gonna look back at this video, I'm gonna cringe just as much, maybe, probably even, even harder. Yeah, most definitely much harder. It's gonna be a... It's gonna be a big cringe fest. And that's why being consistent with your content and not worrying about perfectionism is so important because you will improve with every video you do and before you know it, you too can go back to your earlier videos and cringe. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I do feel like this false sense of perfectionism is not just something that kills our motivation, but puts a stop, puts an entire stop to our full potential. I know there are so many talented content creators, be it YouTubers or streamers, who have given up or can't even start because they feel like they can't be there 100% yet. So remember that it's okay to put out content that's only 90%, 80% or even 50% of your full potential and don't get don't get stuck on this false sense of perfectionism and that's how you fix your motivation problems. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about creating content and building your own personal gaming brand then make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't want miss any of my future videos and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. GG!